What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We have a ton of new chokes and, and loads to pattern for you guys, but unfortunately the day we can film is downpouring. So here we are. So we gotta make do, but we got a bunch of stuff we can film today. And it gives me time to film this comparison right here. This is a Montana Knife Co. that you have the Speed Goat and then the Mini Speed Goat Cerakoted. So I'm gonna get go over after season use of both, what I like them for what, I'm not going to do weights or anything like that because you can see that on the website. It's pretty accurate. It's actually spot on. So I'm just going to go what I like each for, what I think each, if you could only have one, which would be a better option. Stay tuned. Here is the regular speed goat. And once again, I'm not going over size, weight, any of that. Uh, I did do a review video on it, but you can see I do have to clean this. Uh, the edge has stayed extremely sharp on this. I've used this on ducks, turkeys, uh, geese to see how I like it. I really like this on geese and turkeys because you can follow up. You have that point right there. You can follow up and get right on that breastbone and follow that down and you do not lose like any meat and you can just go right down just kind of go with your finger and keep going and it's really effective I like how light it is uh, it is a bigger knife than the the mini of course but I really like this knife I I, I would have no doubts so you could use this for whitetail as well but it is a good option now this one is the mini speed goat and here you go showing both side by side there is a huge difference, uh, very big difference, especially in the blade. But where this thing excels is say you're going camping or an EDC knife or something you can carry and, and not have to worry about people seeing it or anything like that, but still be durable. This knife is awesome. I really like the Cerakote. I like uh, how little this knife is. For ducks, this is perfect. Honestly, this is really good for ducks and geese as well. Uh, I just like that length. Their breastplates are a little bit longer so you can follow down through, make less cuts. So this is really nice for that. But this is a solid option as well. I think all around, if you're looking for any sort of waterfowl or any sort of upland bird, even fishing knife, this, this would do the job for you. This is a great knife. It's extremely light. You can get it in Magna Cut. You can get it in Cerakote, or you can get it original. I wanted the Cerakote. This is the first MKC knife that I've been trying to get, and uh, it took me like a year to get it. So I've been waiting a while. I don't think you can really go wrong. Um, if I had to choose one of these, I think I would take the Mini Speed Goat, get a smaller profile. They're both extremely easy to sharpen. They hold their edge extremely well. And you guys know, if you're watching this video, you know about MKC's generation program. They, they got your back. If an edge breaks or something like that, you can ship it back. If you want this rewrapped, you can ship it back and they'll do that. Or even if you want them to sharpen it. So they stand behind their knives. They're extremely hard to get. So if you're looking for one, I suggest making sure you have that money aside and uh, jump on as soon as they drop because they'll be sold out in 10, 15, 20 minutes. So if I had to choose one going back, I would get the mini speed goat because I could do a deer with this, no problem. The edge would hold. I could do deer, duck, turkey, goose, fish if I ever did. All in one knife and a tiny profile with an awesome sheath. They both have a great sheath. So I would say probably the mini speed goat would be my style, but everyone's different. So if you guys have Montana Knife Co. knives, drop the comments below. Let me know what you have, what you like, if what your EDC is now. I mean, you can see neither of these are a giant profile, even with the sheaths. You got the mini speed goat and the speed goat. It's all personal preference. I don't think you could really go wrong, but for all around, that little mini is just hard to beat. Guys, as always, it's Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Share these videos with anyone who could be looking for knives or just anyone who likes knives in general. 
Share this video, drop your comments below, let me know what your thoughts are, what knives you roll with for hunting season, camping, whatever. Put it all below. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Guys, we got a ton to film today. Wish we could be doing pattern tests, but Mother Nature, uh, you can see we're a little wet. She canned that one, so we're getting to videos that we should have got to a while ago. Catch you on the next one.